Yeah, this is especially concerning to the Clio superintendent because today was the first day that the high school had its first positive COVID case. And that's just a day after he sent out a letter to parents and students urging them not to throw parties or dances. My rationale for putting these out, this out to parents is just to respectfully request that we refrain from these types of activities right now. Clio Area School Superintendent Fletcher Spears sent a letter to parents yesterday after learning about football parties and other gatherings going on around town. He says those gatherings are not following health department protocols and could have serious ramifications. We had our first positive case at Clio High School today. Uh, we had 19 students that had to go home as well as one teacher. Uh, so 20, 20 people went home today uh, because of one COVID case. So far this school year, Spears says they've had a total of three cases of COVID in the district. Students have to be symptom free for at least five to six days before being able to return to school. He says parties and dances are especially worrisome because people are more likely not to social distance or wear a mask. I'm not trying to fear monger, not trying to shame anybody. Um, it's just the facts. I, I mean, it just is what it is. If, if it gets into the building, um, we could potentially have issues. Spears adds that school staff has spent thousands of hours preparing lessons and training to prepare for the challenges of the school year. He says it would be a tragedy if he had to send students home or close school because of a dance or party. He says this weekend there's rumors of a football dance going on and he wants parents and students to consider the dangers. And, and I certainly understand the frustration of the uh, of the parents and understand the frustration of the students, especially the seniors. You know, we know that this is their last year. Um, what would be worse is to have a dance and then our uh, building gets shut down for a couple weeks or longer. That would be even worse. And Spear says that there can be serious consequences to these large parties and dances. He says that last school year, six kids couldn't walk for graduation after being exposed to COVID. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.